Is it recording? Hello! Hello and welcome to another episode of Our Crazy Life. Our Crazy Life! Hello it's been, everybody! It, it's been a crazy week. It has, but first we want to start off by saying, please subscribe, right? Yes. Uh, hit the like button, thumb, like. give us a thumbs up. Hey. <laughs> hey! Lights up, thumbs up, like not lights up. Lights up? Like, hit like, like hit thumbs like, up. Hit like, hit thumbs up. Subscribe, tell a friend, tell your enemies, we don't care. No, we just want subscribers. <laughs> Again, you you aren't put on any kind of thing. If you subscribe, you're not... You're not on a mailing list. mailing list. We don't need your email or any of that stuff like that. Just please subscribe. We would appreciate it. Yes, we would. All right. All right, so anyway, so we had a... What, what, what do you want to start with? We had our grandsons over for the well, weekend. Well, I think you should start about Ava. I thought that was pretty funny. So, uh, the we... Jack, if you don't know, babysits Ava. Rock the camera. Oh. Baby sits Ava five days a week. Five days a week. Uh, and we'll be doing this all the way to the end of June because yeah. she's our, she's an on teacher nine weeks off. But anyway, so we thought she's now drinking out of a straw. She's not quite nine months old, but Ava's drinking out of a straw. So she's a genius. So, of course, all our grandchildren are geniuses. So we, um, I bought her a cup with a straw in it. And I bought her some apple juice, you know, and get her all ready for it. And so had it all ready for Papa to let her have it. You said this cup right here. I don't have the straw, but this cup right here, just give it to her. Right. And she'll drink it. And she'll drink it. It doesn't spill pro. Blah, blah, blah. Well, I I guess it's one of these things. My daughter daughter says, well, it was invented by a mom. So it's it's genius because it's invented by a mom, but they figured it out. You're forgetting dads are not geniuses. True. So we, we don't know how to. I mean, personally, I'm not a dad anymore. Oh, I'm a dad, but I'm I'm a grandpa now. So these this new technology is really screwing <laughs> me. So this this the spill proof thing. And it, it did have a straw. But we'll tell you why we perfect, took the straw out. It's perfect because she had apple juice today and she spilled all over herself. Yes. Gigi gave her some apple juice. And I didn't. Well, it was a different kind of cup, and it was supposed to be spill proof. But my daughter told me that if she's sitting on it, it pushes the straw, and so she was all sitting she in. She goes, apple my daughter juice. is wet. Yes, she did say that. Anyway. Like well. You know, she needs to be potty trained. <laughs> so anyway, so I get this. And so all day, I forget what day it was. She just kept looking at it and she kept throwing the cup on the ground. Right. And I go, hey, you, stop with the, you know, because I'm pretty tough. <laughs> yeah, I'm, right. I'm, I'm tough on the grandkids. I said, hey, you, stop throwing this on the ground. You, you got to drink it, drink it. So I assumed she was drinking, just getting tired of it. Boom, boom, throw it on the ground, throw it on the ground. Right. So this is going on all day. Oh, what, what? Like all day long. The whole nine hours but that you babysit. I, I gave her a bottle. Right. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, she's getting, she's getting that. liquid. Right. She wasn't getting, don't, right. don't send, you know. Uh, Nasty comments saying that we didn't give her any uh, fluids. dehydrating her. No, right. but I was I was trying to give her some a different taste in the formula. So apple juice is, you know, it's a fun thing. So she just kept throwing it, and she's getting mad. She has her Gigi's temper. She has a, you know, okay. Italian temper where, you know, it was my, you know, I'm, I, I'm Irish and English. We just go with the flow. Okay. Just, river flowing. You do hear he I'm, has Irish in him. <laughs> so I'm flowing. Anyway. So anyway, she's she, oh, she's just getting mad at me. I go, look, I don't know what else you want. I don't know what you want because, you know, she's only eight months old. She doesn't speak. Right. So when we got home that day, we just, I again, I gave it to her. And she literally just threw it across the room at me like, I know. She's been doing that all day. Right. So I, I said, wrong with I go, huh. So I went to go take a sip. Couldn't get anything out. I went to go take a sip. I go, oh. The straw's not working. You're right. So we realized <laughs> that the poor thing was trying to tell her papa yeah. that the cup was not working and she couldn't get any drink out of it. If she could have disowned me, she would have disowned me. Yes. She was mad. She was... She was <laughs> well, when she threw it across the room, I, I knew there had to be some kind of issue. I mean, issue. literally, she'd get it, she got it right away and just go... <laughs> and just threw it like that because she was mad because yes. she knew nothing was coming. Right. It's like, stop playing... Look, old people, I don't play games. <laughs> stop playing games with me. I don't do that. I don't go that way. Anyway, Stop so doing that. We were laughing the whole time about it. We like, thought it was funny. We thought it was funny. We didn't really get into it too much with Heather, but then the next day we had to explain to her because we're like, oh my gosh, that's why she was throwing the bottle oh. the cup because it wasn't working. Yeah. What a smart child she yeah, is. She. Anyway. Anyway. So that was Ava. And so we, you know. So then the next day I bought her a better cup. It's got like a little weight to it. So however way she holds it, she's able to get her drink out of it. And it's very cool. And she's a drinker. She, so I what are you gonna say? She's anyway. eight months old. And she likes her. She likes her juice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but then we had our little stinky durs, a little stinky. We had uh, we had Alex and uh, Zach were over here. Uh, Jan Colleen celebrate actually today. Isn't yes, it? our eighth their eighth, eighth anniversary wedding anniversary. And you always go because I don't remember these things. You you said I go. What are they going out for? You said their anniversary. I go their anniversary. I go. Oh, that's right. And then. The group text today. Yes. Happy anniversary. Oh, that's right. Happy anniversary. I started first. I Happy anniversary. First. I, hey, I feel as long as I can remember my anniversary. Yes. That I'm okay. Yes, you're right. I, I would agree. You know, you I remember this. Actually, you're pretty good about everything. Uh, the birthdays and stuff like that, I remember. But 
I feel like, I, and I'm not, don't want people to think this is sexist, but I feel as your wife, my job is to remind you and keep you updated. And I don't want to be sexist, but I feel as your my wife, it is your job. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're willing to, seriously, because, if you're willing to do it, right? Because, I, I'm fine. Okay, I guess that with my hair. Um, I realized when I watched videos later that I play with my mouth and my hair. Anyway, um, I just feel like there's just some things that guys just aren't good at. And remembering dates and anniversaries and birthdays is just... But I do remember do. my anniversary. Yes, you do. And I go, oh, is that when they were born? Okay. I mean, that was, is that when they had... It? Okay, fine. Eight anyway, years? I didn't know. Eight years. So oh. my favorite thing whenever we... Oh, I'm hitting the table. My favorite thing that I always love when our grandson, Zachary, the oldest of the f- almost four kids, grandkids... Um, yeah, fourth one in a few months. Yeah, September. Um, I love when he runs into this door and jumps into my arms. I mean, personally, after that, he can have whatever well, he funny. wants. He, he does the same. He, he runs by me, he gives me a high five. Yeah, he does. And he gave me a half hug. Right. But he has to go have his Gigi. Yes. It's all about me. And I'm fine with that. I have no problem with that. He can get whatever he wants. Yeah. So we had to go grocery shopping. So <laughs> we went grocery shopping on Saturday because we wanted to make sure we had, we don't have snacks in the house usually. So we, And because of that, I'm not going to say why we're not doing our crazy life getting in shape because it's not a good way. Anyway, we do our Who snacks. We game? make sure, you know, he has certain things he loves. He loves his salami. He loves his, his I mean, his peanuts are going to kill us. Sour He'll, cream and uh, chip, No, it's uh, uh, cheddar, cheddar, cheddar chips. Cheddar. The, the orange ones he calls them. He calls them, them Zach's favorite yes, chips. Zach's favorite chips. He wanted the white ones. He goes, did you get the white ones too? The white ones? The plain ruffles. He oh. calls them white chips. The well, orange I, and the white but chips. But I like those. I know. Oh, I hit the thing again. Sorry, people. So anyway, he. I didn't get the white ones. So, um, my husband's getting mad at me because I'm moving around too much. I can't sit still. No, just, just don't hit the table. Oh, I'm shaking it. Anyway, we got him now. We got him his fruit snacks. We got him his Disney ice cream. Yes. That's a Disney. It's vanilla. It's with Mickey the Mouse. With Mickey the, Mouse. It's his favorite. Which I don't like. Um, and, yeah, we gave him all bad things. We got him his Jiffy Pop popcorn. Jiffy Pop popcorn. Because he loves it. And then we made s'mores some that more, night. Yes. Um, because we have a little barbecue, little fireplace that we have that we use every year. And so we little thought... Pit. A little pit, so we I bought some mores, but he couldn't figure out the s'mores. As smart as he is, he kept saying mores. I go, no, some mores. <laughs> Maybe How I can I have more if I haven't any yet. Anyway, you're killing me, small. So he he enjoyed. We made two s'mores and we had a good time. And, and Alex Alex had uh, a marshmallow, I think. Right? Yeah, marshmallow. He had a marshmallow. He loved that. And and Alex likes his little cheeses. That's how I make sure he has little cheeses. He well, likes we, his. We call they're, they're, We come from South Park. We call them cheesy poofs. They're they're baby. Cheese, pu- cheese, cheese, Pus- Gerber's cheese baby cheese, the cheddar. Cheese so we call them cheesy poofs. Uh, but he also likes his Alexa. little. He likes his little ch- chunks of cheeses too. Yeah, that I, I give him. So anyway, so it was a good day, good day. And so we go, we we put him, we put Alex down to bed. What about seven o'clock, seven thirty? No, it wasn't that late. It was it's about six forty-five because he goes to bed between six thirty and seven. He's actually sleeping in here, and I have the fish tank over there. So he was watching the fish and kind of. You know he doesn't use a lot of words, but he you know he's he's he just he's talking to the fish. Right. And then uh, you had Zach. He went to bed probably around. He went to bed at eight. <laughs> His bedtime was eight, but he didn't go to bed. He went to bed at eight because we're pretty strict about those bedtimes. But you worked on him. You have him on Thursdays, and so you worked no, with Alex. Him. I, Alex. I, so you I, worked I, all day with him. I, I've, been your te- name. I've been teaching. Hey, Papa, say Papa, Papa, because he says Dada, Mama. I say say Papa, say Papa. So I finally got him to say Papa, which I thought was a great thing. Well, that night he woke up at 11.30, and I wasn't in bed yet. I was, I was watching Cobra Kai, season two of uh, Cobra Kai. And he's just, uh, he's talking he's talking to the fish. It's like, okay, he's fine. So about one o'clock, I'm ready to go to we bed. We have a little camera on him, so we yeah, can we see what's going on. Yeah, we have a little camera on him. So he's, about one o'clock, he started saying, Papa, Papa, Papa. I'm like, oh, no, I'm not ready to go to bed. No, no. So finally, about 1.30, I go, okay, he's not going to go to sleep. So I change his diaper, and I give him a little bottle of milk, which he didn't want. And he's like, uh, I, don't, I think maybe he was just confused where he was at. You know, he, you know, you wake, yeah. you wake up, you're, you're yeah, a little exactly. over one, and you wake up. Where am I at? Yeah. So finally, he went back to sleep. But about five thirty in the morning, he starts yelling "Papa" again, and I'm sleeping in the spare room because, because Zach he, has is with me, and, and I can't sleep. There's Zach's no, all over the bed. There's no room with Zach. So I, I was there, "Papa, Papa, Papa." I go, "Why did I teach him that name? <laughs> Why did I teach him that?" So I'm, I got, I think I got about three hours sleep. Yeah, you did. I got up, made them pancakes. We, had we got up. Well, pancakes. Zach, first of all, got up at five. I told him because at their house they have they have rules, and he's not allowed to get out of his. And he, I know you're thinking, oh, he's not quite five. How does he know time? That kid knows time. He knows everything. So at his house, he's not allowed to get up until seven and get out of his room until seven. I thought it was six thirty. Was six thirty? That might be seven. I don't know. Anyway, so he woke me up and he goes, Gigi, I'm awake, and I look at the clock and I go, it's no, Zach, it's five o'clock. Gigi's not ready to get up. And I love it. He goes. 
fine, <laughs> like a teenager. So he went back to bed, and the next thing I know, he woke me up about 6.45 because he said to me, Gigi, because I have digital clock, he says, it's 6.45, it's time to get up. So it was time to get up, and he wanted his breakfast. Yeah, so we got up, we made him uh, pancakes. No, you made uh, him, I made him, not pancake. we. I made him pa- Mickey Mouse pancakes. We have this waffle iron. It's a it's a it's a Mickey Mouse. It makes one one Mickey Mouse uh, pancake. It's supposed to be a waffle iron, but we make pancakes. It makes the best pancake. Oh my gosh, it does. Because I put I put but instead of, I get the Aunt Jemima, uh, and I put I I don't get the where you add water. You add milk, three eggs, and oil. But I use buttermilk. Yes, you do because it fl- it makes them fluffier. Yes, and so he he loved them. Yes, and then you make it them. squishy bacon. He has to have his bacon. He doesn't like his bacon. Crispy. He likes. It I like squishy. mine very crispy. So but he like, like he yours, calls it squishy. He likes yours cr- like crunchy. Yes. He likes his squishy. So you're in between. So I cook it really slow. And he ate, but he had a good time. Yep. And then Alex had a little pancake. Yeah, a little. Pancake. I gave him some breakfast in the morning, and then he had uh, some little bit of bacon. Yeah. And then he, but Zach had a squishy bacon and ate that but whole they were, pancake. They were both both excellent. Yes, we had a good time. Was, and then we, they were playing in water. We have like a little water thing, and so they just were having. a so good time. So it was a good time. The only problem was we were tired, exhausted. And they, they got picked up early, but about, about noon. About noon, and I said, I was going to take a nap, but I said I had some stuff to do outside, so I was doing some stuff outside. I go, you know what? I'm awake now. And then I, and you were, you know, I'm going to stay awake too. So we stayed awake. I watched Game of Thrones last night. So I'm going to go to bed right after Game of Thrones. But it was such a, if, I don't know if you watch, I won't spoil you. But it was such a good episode of Game of Thrones that I, I couldn't. I'm the only one in the family that doesn't watch Game yeah, of Thrones. Yeah, so we have a, we had a chat going on in the family. And I was like, I couldn't go to sleep. And so by 11, 30, 12 o'clock, I just finally crashed. But I was like, to, all day like, today, I said, I should have taken a nap. Should but have you taken that. Really late. I don't know. I couldn't sleep at all. I don't know why. I was exhausted, but I didn't sleep. I always don't sleep well Sunday night when I have to get up Monday morning. I don't know why. It's always that way, and uh, that's just the way it is. No, I don't know. Anyway, but I, it was worth not feeling tired today. It was worth it all because of having the grandkids and having a good that's time. That's fun. Like again, I don't. I, I think we said before. I don't know how older parents do it. I don't know. Either. I mean, I have hats off to you guys. Yes. There you go. Hats off. That to have you. children later in life. Because man, I I don't think I could do it every day. But it's like, you know, it was like, okay, five days of Ava. Well, I have Alex and Ava on Thursday. Right. And then the weekend. I was tired today. Right. But it, you know, but it's your grandkids. So right, you, so you do it. You plus, make, our family did it, I'm sure, on their exhausting yeah, days. So, your dad did it with, like, our three kids plus Aunt Lou's two kids. Sometimes she, he had five kids in the house, and he worked all week. Yeah, so. But so, who we didn't complain. It, it kept him young. But uh, it did keep him young. And it, I, I do think it keeps you young. But uh, but we, we, it was a wonderful, wonderful time. Had a great, had, had and a, and I'm excited. We still haven't seen Zach's t-ball game. Yeah, this week. It's supposed to be this week. But it's supposed to rain. It's uh, no. It's supposed to rain. No. Yeah. That poor kid. Is he, what do he say? He goes, I'm never going to have a game. Yeah, because I said, I, I said, Zach, when are you going to have a game? He goes, I don't know, Papa. <laughs> it always rains. Yes. Yeah. But he was sitting there watching, you were watching the game with him. Well, I, I was watching the uh, char- uh, Chargers. The, the Padres. Padres are playing the uh, Washington Nationals, but it's blacked out here. Because we're all supposed to go up to Washington and watch the game. <laughs> Way to go, Major League Baseball. So I was watching, just I had the, the channel on, but it's just this. It's the just sound, sound, because it's we radio. listen to radio. It's, it's radio. Right. And he goes, yeah, when I was in the car, we scored two runs. <laughs> and he was right. They scored, the Padres had scored two runs. So he's, he's, he's watched. So what's happening now, Papa? What's happening now? So he's into he's yes, into, yeah. so at least he's into it. He's yeah. watching. He'd probably rather watch it. But that was old school. Right. Listen, when I grew up, we listened to it on the radio. Right. And they weren't a lot of games. Every game wasn't on TV back True. then. True. Back in the day. But anyway, it was cute, though. I, I was with Alex at that point, and we were playing games together. A little, I was playing. He likes the elevator down, elevator up routine. And you were, it was cute because the two of you were talking your baseball talk. And, and Oh, I forgot to say, though. He, did, he, he loves his popcorn. And the whole Jiffy Pop popcorn, I put it in this big popcorn bowl. He eats it all. Except for like 10 kernels on the bottom, like the 10 little pizza. He goes, here, Pop, I saved you some. <laughs> I go, really, Zach? You saved me some? He goes, there's some in there. His parents probably put him on a diet the week after, the whole week after coming <laughs> with probably, us. They probably got him on a treadmill. <laughs> yes, they probably do. Well, he Pop, doesn't eat it. He always runs around. Pop, like oh, he's active. Well, I was telling him, too, because I'm looking forward to the summer because I'm not a pool person. And my kids are hilarious now because our adult children say... You go, oh, I get it. You never went in the pool with us, but you're going to go in the pool with your grandchild. I'm pool. like, yes, I'm, absolutely. I went in the ocean water. Yeah, I, I don't, I'm don't. i not a water person, and, and my kids are we, right. We know. I, I never went in the pool with them like when the they were wicked, little. You're like the wicked witch. You went in the water with them. I'm empty. Whatever. I'm so, but when my grandson asked me to go in the water, you go in the I water. Go in the water. I don't, I, 
the, the nice thing that when we were going at the community pool during the week, we were doing it, there was really nobody in the pool. Right. My reason why I don't like the water is I don't like when it gets, everybody gets real crazy and it starts splashing. And uh, You don't like it when people are having fun. No, it just makes me nervous. Oh my God, they're having fun. Anyway, but Please I do stop. go in the water with my grandchildren. Yes. So. Yes, that is something different. Well, that was our crazy week. Yes, it hopefully we had a we'll great have, time. Hopefully we'll have some video of the softball, uh, not softball game, the t-ball, t- t-ball game. And everyone's coming, where we have a big get together, all the people are coming down that, uh, who the, take the time to listen and and and, which, uh, and on the watch. Jane Jack Podcasting Network? They, we got like thirty something people coming down. Really, this that's yeah, cool. So it'll be fun to see everybody again. But anyway, again, this is it. The end is near. That's all I got. End is near. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but please remember to again. We're telling you subscribe. Oh, you I know. forgot to tell how Ava's into into. Uh, uh, the boots are made for walking. She's huh? into uh, Nancy Sinatra. She loves the song, These Boots Are Made for a Walking. So you put the video on, she literally gets a smile like this, watching Nancy Sinatra, who can't dance, <laughs> do her boots are made for walking. And then Gigi dances with her. Anyway. Yes. But that's all we got. Please subscribe. Tell a friend. We appreciate everyone who does it uh, Does it now for us. We, we're liking it. We're enjoying it. But that's all we got. Thanks. Have a great week, everybody. See you soon. Bye. Bye.